All right, all right, all right, all right. Good morning, everyone. How is it going? We are back with the shaman, but we ditched the lightning shaman entirely, absolutely entirely, because it just doesn't doesn't do anything. I spent eight hours on stream trying to make it happen unsuccessfully. So maybe we have just have to accept that the lightning shaman is not really a thing. This is why we are going, as you can tell, strongly into the frost. Cold frost damage shaman region. We turned everything into frost. I go over to build in a second. It's not finished yet. It's still all totems. So we're not merely attacking, although we could think about doing this as well. But I feel like... I still feel like the Shaman isn't really a melee attacking class. It's more like a minion caster dude, right? Holy damage. I also dropped the exemption is because I want to see if we can do it just with health. Without the warp. Um, I haven't even used... Okay. We couldn't do it here. Nice. Good start. Actually died to cold damage. And this was also the experience one. Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I fucked up. It was my bad. I was standing in the damage from the, the thingy. Mm, by the way, if we still can make this one happen, I'm just gonna dip the shaman. And again, it was my bad. I should have also turned into spring in form. To gain my buff. So the idea is we have these fawn totems that are also dealing cold damage. And if we turn to spring and form, we cast more of these, as you can tell, with our healing totems because they also gain the effects from uh, from the fawn totems skill tree. And we have the war cry totem, we have the storm totem, and this the upheaval also creates a totem. So it's all totems, right? Totem master. All the totems. But the font totems we create this way. Also, if we cast upheaval, it dis destroys the font totems to gain a damage buff. So is it necessary to cast that totem or whatever? Also, the wall crown obviously heals us, gives us buffs. So it all helps, but maybe it is all a bit too much. Maybe we need to focus on one specifically. I'm not sure you've done that. Also, the storm totem obviously also still does lightning damage. And the spring form... It went a lot of cold damage, huh? But 200 mace just sucks. The people doesn't really do much here. We'll say that. Yeah, we attacked everything into cold damage. It is an additional cold spell damage. Chance to frostbite. People, we want to go for this, right? Yeah. So it actually is a bigger thingy. And here we want to go for cold also with our spring in form. Items wise. We still have this guy. It's all minion damage, mostly still. Minion damage is what scales us best. With minion spell damage, we have minion damage increase this one. Increase minion cold damage 100%. So yeah, it's mostly minion damage still. That's the main damage dealer. Oh, an ambush. What do I do now? It was actually a very easy one. I mean, compared to, for example, the Healing Hands Paladin, damage is still very lackluster, I will say that. Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it does. And these are not empowered um, timelines, by the way, right? So, whoops, that was a, that was a mistake. 
So the upheaval totem basically just casts upheaval consistently into the direction. And it eats the fawn totems for more damage. But as you can tell, it doesn't do much. I might actually go for... Like, the upheaval is not that strong. We could actually start attacking ourselves with... Uh... Ooh, fire damage. With what should we call it? Tempest again? Although Tempest also seems a bit like last in general as a damage dealer. Well, look at this. It's just no damage. There's no damage. None. With four totems, you have to cast a lot of them. Or to do anything also we if we do cast them all the time we lose a lot of mana which we gain back fast so to speak with our rage as a spring form man so the build is still a work in progress as you can tell we're still working things out they need the war cry totem there I will own mana a lot if I do this, interestingly enough. Also, I'm sitting in the sun, very sorry, that will end in a second, but I kind of enjoy it in the morning, morning sun. What? Okay. Yeah, we have no physical resistance but I mean we're sitting on 900 health with all dying fast so much strength and still dying that fast it's kind of crazy hmm hmm by the way if anyone knows a good lightning shaman build or even a frost shaman let me know What do we have with melee cold damage? Oh, this one. Eulogy of Blood. I actually thought this is a Acolyte thingy. But it seems to be more the kind of... Shaman. I mean, it says Rib Blood, so it is an Acolyte thing, but... Acolyte doesn't really have minion cold damage, so it's a bit weird. Level 83. Okay. Could be good for us. I mean, it's not that crazy, actually, is it? Cold damage. Spell cold damage per five character levels. Chance, chance to cast Tundra Nova on hit with cold skills. I have this twice. So I could run two of these. Two-hander, that's melee. It's also cold damage. I think we're gonna run a two-hander on this thing. It also go with a shield. Oh yeah, it's just go with cold damage. Throwing cold damage. To the lightning, yeah. gives us more cold damage though as well. Hmm. Maybe we could run some sort of a hybrid. Some sort of hybrid thingy. So I feel like, yeah, minion crits and minion damage. This is why I went for it, but I die fast. I die very fast with this. This is a problem for sure. Mm -hmm. 
61% increased melee cold damage. That's pretty good. Plus. If we actually start attacking. So the upheaval. That's not doing much. It's not a totem, but meh. The damage is pretty shitty. Freeze rate. I mean, you can increase this here, but... I really want to go for the Tempest again. It can, of course, turn into cold. Move to frigid. 2,000 damage. It's really not that much. But then if you get it on with some leech... Yeah, this was not really it. I think we tried the Tempest and started actually hitting people. And we go with... I don't know, not storm stacks. We want to go. This direction. Oh, I didn't specialize. My bad. And trades. That's also good. Freeze rate, yeah. Well, the chance is very low on this, though. 40% max. You can also do this. Actually, it's this. Remove the lightning. Or oh, can't cast it, the Tempest anymore. This would be so much better if it would actually remove the lightning strike from the combo. Also, additionally, it says over here, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it gives us more attack speed. Attack speed is definitely helpful for us. Yeah. We gotta max this one out for sure. I mean, it's gonna... These... These suck. I've tried that. Because then we can... Actually run this set item over here. This one, was it? right? Yeah. Over this. This, by the way. Oh, damage over time. So we actually start hitting people again. Any good belts? What's this? A lot of spell damage for totems. Oh, this pledge. I think this is still better, isn't it? I mean, this makes our spriggan form worse. If we run the... the we start hitting things direction. This is not helping at all. Because it's lightning damage. <clears throat> I don't have space for it, do I? I do, no man. Let's try it again. Let's start hitting people. So why do I always cast Maelstrom? Something is wrong with that. Not... Yeah, okay. It shouldn't stand in that damage. Yeah, I mean, that was stupid. That's, of course, not how you do this. This doesn't count, alright? You shouldn't stand in the damage from the, the dude. What the hell? Damn, this dude does shred. Fuck. What the hell? How am I dying so fast? What's up with that? This is not even an empowered timeline. Or echo rather. Why do I die so fast? I mean, I only have 900 health. I get that, but still. Okay, we try something else. We try something else. Um, boots. Last steps of the living.
Yeah, freeze rate multiplier. So this might not actually be that bad. But now at 1.5k, that's better. Damn! How are we just dead so fast? What's up with that? Gotta go upwards, huh? I didn't need this one, but whatever. Hmm. Hmm. A yeah, melee damage leashes health could also be useful. Fighting me! Yeah, shut up. I mean, yeah, the idea, of course, is that I cast these totems. And they do all the damage. So I have no mana. Look at this. And the re regeneration is also shit. But yeah, because Tempest Strike costs mana. Yeah, this build is not coming along that way. At all. Like, look at my super slow mana regeneration. Still 8 mana to hit people. Perish. Yeah, I don't know. The hunt. The feast. What are you talking about, man? Oh, it's you. Peasant. Shut up. It still feels very bad, I will say that. It still feels very lackluster. Problem is that I can't because of the mana cost. It's only this 2.7 damage. 2.7 thousand damage. That's not even that much. Hmm. It's not not really going the way we want it to. Maybe Shaman just sucks right now. If I look at like look at this for example. You go to max roll. Endgame, playstyle, mastery is shaman. There's only two build guides. <laughs> <laughs> this explosive fawn totem and the fawn totem is basically the same thing. The thing I'm playing to an extent, not quite, but to an extent. Yeah, that's probably saying a lot about the class, isn't it? Shaman needs some love, man. Yeah. We'd have all our mana if we play this, that's the problem. That is the problem. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Did 
Do, 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 um... I don't know, gentlemen. Yeah, we definitely need... The Stone Calf Testament item. So we're gonna play this a little bit more. Uh, the Tempest Strike, I likely won't even do much with it. Attuned Slam. Because it feels so bad. But oh well. Feels just so bad. We can turn Gathering Storm into cold, right? Oh, we can. It does have cold damage. But I think it was pretty bad, wasn't it? Going to cold? Okay. It's a chance to chill. To freeze. Maybe that's not bad. Okay. Okay. Let's go into our gathering storm. In order to cold. It's a chance to chill enemies. Yes, absolutely. To freeze put your attunement. That's good. For free melee damage on your equipped axe or mace. Tempest weapon. Oh, that's physical. We don't want that. Attack speed. Can I? Oh, this doesn't have any mana cost. 480 damage? <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> oh, that sucks, dude. Do I still get storm stacks? I don't, right? Because it's cold now. We'll see. I mean, attack speed never hurts, right? Large area. What's this? Additional spell damage per free melee damage on your equipped axe. That's pretty good, isn't it? Or melee damage to shock enemies. Yeah. I don't think I want to go with this. Current mana, nope. If you have 10 or 15 storm stacks, your minions lightning skill hits have a chance to grant you a storm stack. So it does work with storm stacks. This is good if we actually do run the storm stack things. We'll see. Damn, the attack speed is slow. What the fuck? How did I just die from this dude already? What the hell? Oh god, that mage is gonna wreck me, isn't he? No storm stacks so far. Maybe it doesn't work like that. I don't know. Woohoo! I mean, oh, they are okay. It does create storm stacks. Okay, interesting. It does do it. The gathering storm always does the storm stacks. Man, he takes no damage. What the hell? But the storm stacks do. I guess lightning damage. It doesn't say it. And Stormbolt space is converted to cold. Okay. So what we need is, but I have a lot of cold damage, don't I? It's pretty good then. Cast it again. Chance to cast on as an additional enemy. Deals more damage. Okay. 
chance against stacks of losing one. That's not bad. <laughs> I mean, these are all pretty good. Except the shock thing. But it's, it's good. Cold damage will not increase the lightning damage. Shock chance on hit is converted to frostbite chance. Yeah, okay. So it all is converted to cold. Why are we lagging again, by the way? Look at this shitty ass damage. So the storm bolts don't rain down anymore on them, do they? I mean, the items might also be a problem. If we do this, we might not even go for the Spriggan form. Shut up. And the question kind of becomes, do we go with melee and cold damage for me or minion cold damage for my totems? That's the question. Oh, I stunned him. But like, it takes way too long to kill even these mobs. Just laughable. I do have this Tundra helmet. I don't know if it's any good though. He died already. You gain mana per active storm stack up to a maximum. Close done chance. No, I think this surround is pretty good. Especially if you go with the Storm Totem. Mm What the damage? Oh, let's get out of here. Did he just kill himself? Oh no, I told him to. No way. You shut up. Yeah, we're currently running the hybrid version of totem damage and melee damage, which of course does not work. So we're going to decide, really. Oh, one more, come on. Um, trade and then, yeah. So I want to check. Let me check. Briefly check. Uh, bu -bu -bu build. Build, build. Shaman, if anyone, anyone has managed a Frost Shaman, they actually does something called Avalanche, but that's channeling. This is a channeling build because Avalanche is channeled, right? Uh, this is a dot ice totem sham build. Oh, he actually uses Spriggan form. Interesting. Damn, and like nine uniques. Frostbite upheaval tremblor.
Cross jam, massive AU and crowd control build kind. Wait, with the crowds? What the fuck? Leveling. I want to go with endgame actually. Psycho starter. I don't like. Also, it's from the beta. Avalanche. Convert it to cold. This is actually good. Also, the circle cannot be targeted but costs more mana to channel. It's no longer channeled. Oh. Yeah, that's probably what we should go for then, huh? Okay, I see. Avalanche. Actually, not bad. He does not go for the Spriggan. Yeah, it makes sense. We might actually ditch this. This guy went with the Spriggan form, I believe. Yeah, and this totem. Interesting. The Thunder Totem, really? Cold Thunder Totem. And now it's friggin'. It's all cold. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the Storm Calf tab tablet. That is okay. They don't have it, but this is pretty good actually. But you gotta have it. I mean, and of course, Apogee of Frozen Light. Of course. So wait, which one was the Avalanche? This one. It's a lot of cold damage. Frozen Isle. Hmm. Okay. We get rid of the Spriggan form. And just when it turned into cold damage. I'm gonna go with Avalanche. I kinda don't wanna even do the chance on hit to summon a fawn toward him. I kinda don't even wanna do the whole Spriggan thing. Damn, it's not even much in Shaman. Windbringer. Stormblade. A lot in Druid still. Beastmass. Oh yeah, that's survivability, of course. I have this, I think. Warheart. They're not skillless. Oh shit! Thanks for made. That yeah, explains it. Oh, dying so fast. It's going full into attunement. I mean, attunement does scale our oh, dudes. It's 5,000 damage. Okay, sure. Let's try this one. I like this. It looks good. He actually uses Tempest Strike. Yeah, and removes the physical and thunder Tempest. Does this actually do anything if you do this? I feel like Gathering Storm is better, but okay. I want to try this build with... With Gathering Storm. Yeah, that feels better. Why is he going to leap though? This is weird to me, the leap thing. Yeah, the spring form we gotta despecialize. And instead go with the avalanche. Is it called avalanche? 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 I don't even know. We wanna not have it channeled. We want it to be a 
Let's freeze enemies. Launch area. What's this? Oh yeah, cold damage. Pulse. It's no longer channel, so what does it do? Can I cast it somewhere? Oh, I see. Okay. I see. Yeah, sure. Items? He's using the Frozen Isle. So it's not all into minion damage. Plus 4 to Tempest, right? Yeah, he gives himself a lot of cold damage. That's what I was thinking. Increase the spells. Yeah, frostbite shackles. I can't wield these yet, sadly. But... Yeah, set items still suck, dude. The frozen isle. <clears throat> Actually, we have it twice. 106. 13. These stay? What is this? Arthur's Legacy. Plus one maximum companions. Oh, to minion skills. Okay. He goes with the Snow Drift. This one... Age of Winter. Yeah, this is good, but... Osharion. Osharion. Osharion? I don't know. The Frostbite Shackles. 74. Ah, a few more levels. Then we can run him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see how this does. Yeah, idols, of course. Idols. This one just sucks. I keep the exemptions for now. I might change it later, but right now it gives me way more damage. He's just going all in on cold damage, not even minion damage. He doesn't give a fuck. Just cold damage. Okay. I don't have any cold damage rings, do I? Nope. Feels bad. Cold damage. Why does it give me this? It's cold resistance. I typed in damage. What the fuck? Oh yeah, rings can give you cold damage, right? Can they? Oh, it does. What the hell? I thought they couldn't. Lightning damage? Oh, they can. Never mind. But does it have a ring with cold damage? Elemental damage. Human. Freeze rate multiply. Okay, we can actually just craft this. Poison damage. Endurance. Elemental, I mean, also works, right? 20%. Endurance threshold is also pretty good on this. I kind of like this. We get cold damage. Nice. Ooh. Pretty good. A lot of freeze rate. Definitely better than this one. Okay. Minion damage. We want to run this later, but it's fine. Yeah, fucking minion damage. We can run another one, actually. How about elemental? <clears throat> damage over time. Damage over time also buffs our frost bite, right? I think. Fighting damage, elemental resistance, health. Spell damage and elemental damage. Ooh. It's pretty good, isn't it? Um, elemental damage. Let's fire that up. 
Oh, just one. I think 40%. Health is good. I don't know why it's lagging so much, but oh well. What do we want to add? Any resistance, critical strike, avoidance, endurance. I guess physical resistance is never a bad thing. Oh, we have zero physical resistance. So yeah, let's, let's put this on. I mean, it's at least elf, elf 11%. I know why I went German there. Belt. Yeah, this is ass. Um, where are my belts at? Where they put them? Here they are. Is there no cold? What are they doing? These ones suck. Increased damage. Walt gain of potion use. Um, familiar attack speed. The skills. I have some shitty belts. Some stone totem. Lighting damage. That's shitty. Man, these belts are ass. Okay, anything good here? Cold. Region. Intensifying potions. Health. Freeze rate. Even more freeze rate. Huh? Adding damage. Come on. Come on. Main health. Poison damage. What? Why are these belts also shitty? On top of that. Product damage. Mana region is pretty nice. You could turn the shady 6% health into... Actually, how much is that? We are at 878. Which is 60. Yeah, makes sense. But... This could be bad if we reroll a bad thing. Dodge rating. Dodge rating is not bad. Technically. It's not the kind of belt we're seeking. It is not bad though. Reroll again could be very bad. This is not bad actually. It is not bad. Oh yeah, he's high level. Oh, they call damage, yeah. So we're hitting people with this fucking scepter. <laughs> Why do I still create a maelstrom? What does what item does do that? Probably a passive. Oh yeah, idols. He's just running the cold damage per active totem. Health, quicker strike avoidance. These are weird on top of that. Alright, class idols. 31% increased cold damage. I think we should go with that. Let's be for totems. Nah. Lightning damage. Nah. Oh, this is it. Master every 5 seconds. Yeah. Nah. Lightning damage. Nah. Lightning damage. Nah. All the lightning damage still in here. This is fine. Tis fine. <clears throat> Alright, cold. What do we have? Cold damage packed of totem. Do we have that many totems? That's 34% increased cold damage. But this one is just better. It's 40%. And bleed. Ooh. Well, oh, transform doesn't do anything. This one is good. Apply frostbite on hit with cold skills. It's pretty nice, though. But then I can't use this one. Because we have no space. Actually, I can. If I put this here. Even more cold damage. Okay. Do we need resistances or health? Vitality. Health on kill. 
Oh, with physical resistance. That's pretty good. And I have no space for it. Thunderation. Physrez is way better. This is health, wall retention, mana, elemental resistance. Sure. Health, health. Gain ward when hit. I can't use these ones. Vitality. All the vitality, huh? So much health on kill, I didn't even know I have so many of these. Do you have health? Poison resistance definitely doesn't hurt. Is there an elemental? Just resistance, right? Yeah. Chance to ignite. Hold. Increased health, 3%. And I can't run these. I don't have space for it. Armor, elemental resistance. Yes. Wall retention. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere. So the Maelstrom finally stopped casting. This is from the last house of the living. I get that. Don't even have a potion. What the fuck? 18,000 damage. 1200, that's not insane, but... Let's see how this does. Let us see how we finally do with that. The avalanche. I mean, this is the cold thingy, so... That does much better already. Oh, I didn't even uh, respect my passives. Fuck me. I forgot about that. What game and potion is cold? Da Ooh. Any damage? Cold damage? 50%. That's actually pretty good. Too bad it's not exalted. What if we throw... This is shout cold damage. Ah, the fortune will is just so ass, though. Mm. Yeah, we also gotta uh, respring our passives. Lol. Okay, I didn't even need to cast this one. I mean, mana region could be a thing we also need. Gathering storm doesn't cost any mana. That is great. But outside of that... Like the avalanche is a lot of mana. 83. That is a lot. Also, my attack speed is so ass. What the hell? Hey. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of attack, then you Throw some totems again, then you attack again, and you throw some totems. It's a shaman for you, huh? I guess. Why is this bug, by the way? Ah, 
Ouch. Woohoo! That was close. That was close. I have this like 15 times. But whatever. Ooh, 2 LP on it. Yes, we'll take that. So we gotta respect our passives. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I kind of like the Gathering Storm better though than the Tempest. Whoops. How would I ever wield a staff? That's my direct ranged cast of Stormbolt. That's so shitty. Sure, let me see how we max this one out. Then we went with Frozen Ground, which chills enemy who stand on large area. That's good. Faster, that's also good. We want to max these, I believe. I just want to go for last longer and around you and follow us. Ooh, the hailstorm. That's insane. Yeah, we need this. Oh, he's an angry ally. Look at it. People have great names. In this game. Hello, traveler. Also, I'm weirdly illuminated from the bottom. Because the sun is reflecting on this thing here. <laughs> Hello, traveler. So let's see. Your passives. What did you go for? Why are we putting so much into the regular sham? Many damage on low health. Tempest Bond is good, I guess. Spell damage. Why not going for spell damage? Yeah, we don't need this. That's true. Do, 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 do. He maxed this one out as well. Health. Oh yeah, health restored. I guess it doesn't hurt. Put nothing into strength. Huh. Okay, so shaman. It's increased million cold damage. I thought this is good. We'll see what he goes for. I think. Yeah, we actually I see now. We are focusing mostly on our own damage now. And Avalanche. Yeah, this is why he gets rid of all the totem damage. Makes sense. Text speed and cast speed while you have an active totem. Yeah, so it is to constantly have the totem out. Which I have out all the time, right? So it makes sense. Full damage, 4% per point. Double while you have an active minion. Oh. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I see a point, sir. Fall into these. Oh, we lost our avalanche because we respect so much. Never mind. Full damage. Yeah. Absolutely. Chill chance, freeze rate. Okay. What's this? Cold damage with spells and attacks. Two per point. It seems pretty bad though. Just two. Next attack, cold damage 40. Ah. Okay, so he's just going full in on all the cold damage on himself. Hello, traveler. Hello, traveler. Oh, uh... I click on it fast enough. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know if I like this. The Berserk on low health. Actually, it's great with our... Oh, yeah. Like, this only counts health. It doesn't count ward, right? So if I keep playing the Exanctionist, then we're good on this, I feel like. 
yeah, yeah. All right. Do all right, all right. Do not dwell on regrets. Do not dwell on regrets. This is pretty good. Is there a melee acolyte? The lich, I guess, huh? I have no fucking space for this thing. Yeah, throw out the base one. Get the LP one in. Snowblind, I have about 15 million of them. Belt. Alright. Alright. Let's see how we do. Why is my ping so shitty? Why is that? Shit. Just spilled water. I still like the gathering storm more to be honest. He has a lot of beast mess. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for this as well. Not just damage, as well ability. Whoops. Beast master three. Yeah. What's with the lag? Drawn Fatima. What is with the lag? Fucking hate my ISP, man. Fucking hate him. Anyway. It will eventually solve itself. Also, I think. I hope. Nice. That's not very good. Yeah, I can see why he went for the leap as well. So our mobility is pretty ass. As is all ping. It should solve itself in a second. And I know we're lagging. Holy shit. I'm gonna go for this. That's great if it follows us around. Come on, man. Get your shit together. Internet. Internet. Oh, nice. I get me killed again. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to this lady. Wait. The fuck, dude. I wonder when this this will ever stop. This whole internet shit. Usually it doesn't last that long. That's a bit odd. Get out of here. Impossible. Impossible. Can we finally get this shit together, please? Game? I 
hear, but I can't see her. Oh, there he is. <laughs> nice. Hello. Hello. It just doesn't stop. <sighs> Why am I dying? What am I dying to? I'm sorry about all the lag. I don't know why it's happening. Don't know. These are pretty bad. Oh, hello, friends. I have to restart the game again, don't I? Because I think I fixed it on my back end. Why oh, is this thing so tanky? What the hell? annoying oh it's getting better okay okay fix it it seems it appears and ah, it's getting better okay good good i had to reduce stream quality a little bit which is very annoying which is very much annoying A chest. Ow. Shut up. Ah, shit, wrong on totem, whatever. Metal. I mean... Leap would definitely be a helpful skill for arm ability. Which is pretty ass at the moment. Gotta get out of this. Stop with that bullshit. There you go. Weird. That was very weird. Alright. We're almost there with the... Avalanche around us. Avalanche, avalanche. This bitch. 
I feel like we kind of need some stun avoidance as well. Holy fuck! These guys are insane! I couldn't get out of it. Dude! Like, I'm constantly stunned. Okay, we need some stun avoidance, I guess, huh? That would help. That would help a lot. Maybe we need some stun avoidance idols instead. I was like perma stunned there. That was stupid. Stun avoidance. 69. 71. Yeah. This one. Health. At the vault. It's not really necessary right now. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. What if you actually run two of these? Frozen Isles. We could also run a shield. What does he rock? And for more cold damage on it, I guess. Um, cold. On that ladle. Doesn't this also give us shred armor, poison, chance to slow, and greet cast speed for two intelligence? It's not bad, actually. All twice the frozen isle. Impossible. Why is it impossible? What are you talking about? Impossible. Oh yeah, I can run two scepters. True. Impossible. It's just axes and shit. Yeah, I forget about this all the time. I think that's also a bit stupid. Why can't I not wield two scepters? Like, why? We could also go with the hummingbird, actually. Where is it? Up there. Only cold damage. Any damage. I think this is better. Melee attack speed, movement speed, ward get a melee hit. This is also pretty good. Ooh, elemental attack speed. Yes. Isn't this much better? I think it is. Man, we've died a lot so far. This one, I can't run yet. Plus two to wall crack, we're to cold. No longer knocks enemies back. Health, have reached and health can kind of freeze. Melee cold damage. Oh yes, we want this. Snow blind, cold resistance, freeze rate multiplier, armor, chance to chill. Gonna be blinded. We have less health then. Annoyingly. Because this has vitality a lot. 11 and strength. All the uniques. Anyway, let's try it. Fuck it. We're dying a lot, but we might figure out eventually which one is a, a great build for this guy. Hello, friends. I mean, AoE is pretty good, of course, with this. How do I get so much leash? By the way, I wonder. Where is this coming from? Yeah, I'm an idiot. I saw this too late. I always die to this. Because I, for some reason, don't realize it's happening in front of me. <laughs> this didn't count, alright? It was my bad. I was stupid. I was being an idiot. Cold penetration. We need this for sure. Wait, no. Oh, there it is.
Yeah, problem is definitely uh, ranged enemies. Do I leech elemental damage with some item? I'm not aware of. Because then exemption is not the play, is it? Stop skipping me. We always need to have a uh, toad them out at all times. Because it gives us a lot of cold damage and attack speed. Wait, I clicked. Didn't work. Finally. Stop attacking my totem, you bitch. Okay. The fall totem is really only good to just have a totem out. Doesn't even do that much. But we are tanking much better than before, for sure. Get fucked. I even tanked his entire ground damage. That wasn't too bad. I'm still considering the leap though, because our mobility is just ass. Okay, we have the hailstorm, that's very strong. Larger area. And I wanna kinda max this out. Auto way. I don't know if the storm bolt's actually any good. I wanna, for example, gain mana instead. This might be better, actually. You gain mana per active storm stack up to a maximum. This is also good. I think it might just be better than this stuff. Let's get let's get the mana. The mana. Where do I get all the leech from, by the way? Won't get a melee hit, but that's not health. How did I leave so much health there? I'm confused. What gave me so much health by hitting enemies? It's not the gathering storm, is it? Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, I want to go for this and max out our aspect of the boar. Boar heart. Yeah, we need to reduce damage some more, make us tanky. Tanky AF. It's doing good damage now, I feel like. Okay, fuck this. Not if I stand like an idiot in this damage. Okay, I'm not leeching health, but then where the fuck did this come from? Is it just a war cry? Does it really do so much? It's insane. Maybe over the, the fawn totem. Maybe. Because it also gives us survivability. 
I don't even cast a Fawn Totem much, admittedly. Also, if the bald man's plank would be any better, we could just run this weapon because it can cast a, a storm totem. These are a real issue for me, these guys. I still die very fast. We can definitely work on also our ability here. Don't give me this shit again. I think we maxed this, don't we? Did he max it out? He didn't. Oh, lasting long on okay, That's help for sure. Maybe some elemental leech. Oh yeah, we could actually go with the prism wraps, for example. Or with the exanguinous. For example, a poison. The terror aid me. Just don't do much damage. It's just 3k. It's not crazy. It really isn't. Ah. Oh yeah, it's around me now. I, I skilled this and I keep forgetting about it. I keep forgetting. These dudes are tanky, what the hell? Um, it's up there. Hello, friends. I mean, that is pretty neat. Devil Lanch does a lot of damage then. Because it's being cast around me. We tanked it pretty nicely here. Temple Guardian. Yeah, I feel like the Exanctionist is a bit counterproductive, isn't it? Can this asshole stop shooting his bullshit from over there? Pissing me off. You cunt. The fucking stun from these guys always almost kills me. That's a lot of cold damage. level is this 74 they're both 74 fuck two more levels um yeah we don't need this the problem is this i mean you can still gain ward on top of the exanctionist that is fine and on top of the it also has a freeze rate multiplier 300 percent what if we just run this without the exanctionist we go with um prism wraps five percent of our mental damage leads us health on crit we have to crit then 100 increase on mental damage 
Yeah, that files about damage along. It has no leech. Wait, shouldn't we have way more health? Oh yeah, it's building up again. Why is the health region so bad? Am I smoking crack? This only eats 13% of current health loss per second. Shouldn't I have way more health? It's 13%. Why do we lose so much? That's not 13%. That's 15. 50. Can anyone explain this to me? Is this a bug? Oh, per second. Yeah, of course. Never mind, I just can't math. Forget about it. I like the freeze rate, but it doesn't help me here. Uh, any other boots? Crossbar on head, cold penetration, close rating. Oh, cold damage proof spells and attacks, movement speed of 2 next 30. Are these numbers better? Nope. We have the morning first. Freeze rate multiplier, movement speed. What's better here? It's above good. I think the snow drift are better here. Do we actually have anything legendary? Oh, there's physical resistance. Meh. Really cool damage. I think you try this for now. <clears throat> Just 1k health though. It's not very much. Need more health. Way more. Way more health. Is Ward still the most OP shit in the game? Is that really what it is? Why are we lagging again? What's up with that? Impossible! Impossible! What's with the lag? Bullshit. <laughs> Maybe the um, damage leech is better though, if I'm being honest. You can keep your fucking poison for yourself, man. I'm not interested. Nice, nice, nice lag. Oh, it's a little fire damage. Do I not have any poison resistance? It's 62. How do they so much... What's going on with this guy? <laughs> what? Stop attacking my totem, you bitches! Man, why are we lagging? I have even 50 ping. Which is not insane, but still. He's just perma frozen, isn't he? I like that. It's actually pretty good against bosses, isn't it? All the freeze.
big mistake. Possible. Why is he lagging? What is this? Bullshit. Uh, I'm fucked up. No, it's no need to cast this. Whatever. Why is it so laggy? Anyway, it's one of these streams, I guess. Again, it happens. Doesn't matter. What the damage, dude? Ooh, elemental damage. Anytime they try to run at me, these dudes, these whatever they are, it lags like crazy. It's insane. See, this is where we need to leave, actually. So I can get to these assholes faster. They're not attacking me. Wow, there's no damage whatsoever. Wait, do we lag out again? What is going on with the game? My ping is fine, so it's not on my end. For now. At least. <laughs> Stun chance for Storm Stag. That was pretty good. Typhoon. Chance to gain additional Storm Stag. Yeah. I don't want this, but these two are pretty good. Everything else kinda 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 sucky. This is more on damage. I kinda want this to be more It's not my main damage dealer anyway. The chance is also so low. It's not really worth it, is it? This is good. Lightning, lightning resistance. No, it's cold resistance because of this. I think we don't want to go with this at all. It's also not relevant because we're always in the fight. This is quite good. We can do it twice because the Storm Bolt now also does cold damage and frostbite yeah this more damage is more frequently this is also fine actually we might go for this base critical strike chance and eh, plus maelstrom stack that sucks fuck a maelstrom for free melee damage uh on your equipped axe or mace. Oh shit, yeah, we gotta run some axes. I also wanna run the Eulogy of Blood, but I don't know if there's any good on this character. Chance to shock, so this is turn to chance to chill, alright? Chill! <laughs> chill. <laughs> chance to chill! This chance is way too low to do anything. So we go with stone. Oh, the stone stack's also better. Stone, stun. I can't talk today, I'm very sorry. I don't know why. I actually saw it coming. I saw it coming and still that. Okay, we need we need a leech. This is not cutting it. Body armor. We go these are all the same, aren't they? Oh this is five percent. Whoops. Uh yeah. Just put it on. Offhand. Because we still die, and this gives us some leech, also more damage. Yeah, pretty neat. 
Yeah, while we're here, let's get rid of this. And instead, throw in the Fury Leap. Let's also go with healing, but I kind of want to... It doesn't have any cold things. But it can expand Storm Stacks, which are cold, right? Storm Bolts, I mean, sorry. The damage is not relevant. More damage. Melee damage and spell damage for 3 seconds. Yeah, that's the Vario's entrance. Pretty good. Move damage while leaping. Large area, cost less man. The damage is not what I care about. Mm, Tash is done. I think ailments and shit, so we actually have some ability. Yeah. Also frenzy. Battle bloom is pretty good. Then we want to go up here as well and go with the storm bolts. Lagoon's wrath. Let's see. Okay. I keep fucking up left and right, but there it is. That's the process of figuring out the build. Oh, it's this place. Okay. Why is this happening again? God damn it. This is very bad for me. Oh, what the? Oh, it's these assets again. I'm getting increasingly pissed over that shit. <laughs> what the f okay why do we die so fast can anyone explain this to me why do we die so fast i'll do this again i mean we've only have 1k health sure but still this is stupid I guess the ranged attacks are a real issue. Impossible. Impossible. My standard avoidance does not shine at all. Either. I need a leap to get to the ranged people fast. That's really what it is. Fuck you guys. Seriously. Range is my enemy. Range is my real enemy. Fuck off. This probably looks pretty shitty on stream, if I'm being honest, because there's so much happening on the screen. was a hard fight when we did it. Um, I wanted to go with this and this, right? Yeah. Actually, I think this is better. Damage, spell damage. So health. Rings of Endurance. Hmm. 
I can't even proceed much with this whole timeline. Or echo, rather. Wait, the stone bolts are lightning, though. Oh, okay, no, never mind. This was cold damage. Yeah, makes sense. Everything else would have been weird. Our survivability is still absolute ass. What do we do about this? We do some good damage with the avalanche and we can... Like the single target damage is very good. Single target damage is very good. What? Like bosses. But mobs, especially ranged, are a real problem. Hmm. Skull and pyramids. Shattered. Why is it so far? What? What do you? Okay, I need to go upwards. No mind, I fucked up. Argo lost the blast. So the lead definitely helps us here. Very key to make it happen at all. Frost stacks. We're gonna check later what items we actually are looking for, except for the Stormcough tablet. That is still OP as fuck. I think. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Does the war cry even do much? It doesn't do much cold damage, that's for sure. This is Argolos the Blast. Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, he actually got shredded pretty fast, I will say that. <clears throat> Getting close to 74, which is what we need for all these things. Movement speed is pretty ass with these. This. <sighs> we. We only have a thousand health. That's just so bad. What do I have this, by the way? What if we instead actually go for a helmet that gives us health? Maybe that's better than the snowdrift. A little bit of survivability. I don't have any helmet. Why is this in here, by the way? Mana endurance threshold. Yeah, this one we ran earlier. Why are the boots in here? What am I smoking? Crack, most likely. Mm -mm -mm. 
73. Strength, mana. Oh, 12 strength. Damage leeches health on hit. Ooh, we might need the mighty tusked great helm of the turtle. Next level, which is soon. TM. Ah, strength is maxed. Of course, it's exalted. Armor, pretty good. Man. I would like some more regular health on it. Necrotic resistance. What if we reroll this? I need level 73 first. Ah, we're gonna run this one, right? Oh, this has 81 health and health region. Oh yeah, okay, so we don't need this. No, never, never, never mind. It's all good. All good. So... Come on. This one... Oh, it has health region. Health cannot freeze. Oh, this is also what we get, right? Yeah. Can we max the health? I can't, T5. Feels bad. We can also rock a shield instead. Endurance block effect. Because this also means we're taking less damage. You lose 5% of health per second, but you don't even get any ward back? The hell? But we lose a lot of attack speed with this, but maybe we really need this over... The avalanche is still our main damage dealer. Over dying too fast, you know. Okay, this. Do we have something that fits better or. Primalist? Only have this one. Earthly Man. It looks a bit better, I feel like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah, oh, God. Today is one of those days. Well, the internet is just being a royal asshole bitch. I can't even restart because then the stream drops. Give me some gold. Actually, while the internet is being a bitch, let's see. Um, I want to go with database. What could we do? To survive better. Cold damage. Oh 
god, it can't even load the fucking... Yeah, it's raining and apparently the internet doesn't like it. Two hundred spear, monitors reach, Kodamish leashes health. Ooh. Strength, chance of frostbite on melee hit. This is pretty good. It doesn't have much cold damage, like percentage wise. I will say that. Oh, that's a shitty raid, isn't it? Yeah, the Alluvion. We can also try this later. Rain Dance. Oh, I didn't know these exist. Health can we do dodge? Faith of the Frozen. Freeze Ray Multiplier. <clears throat> okay, we dropped a million frames, but it seems to stabilize now. Throne of Ambition. Huh. At the Aperture of Frozen Light, that's also pretty good, isn't it? Do we even want to dual wield? We could really also go for the the staff or the spear rather. Um, like this thing over here. Where is it? Mordit has reach. It's a strength, which is pretty nice. So does this all scale with strength and attunement melee? Strength. It's just cold spell area. I mean, this makes sense. Anyway, uh, it appears the internet hiccup is over. <laughs> ah! I cast the avalanche, and his avalanche killed me. Nice, very nice. Abri Batcher, it's the sexiest guy. <laughs> Thank you, man. How's it going, my friend? We're dealing with a lot of technical issues today. And this build is also kinda kinda not hitting very well. At least not in the sense that it should. What is this thing? Is this a bug? Why did he turn purple? Why are they becoming purple? That's a visual bug, huh? I wonder if our survivability is finally a bit better. That's yeah, a bug on this thingy. Title the whole snap community with a singular tweet. Or oh, tilted. Nice! Send me the tweet. I wanna know. Also, I feel like the snap community is constantly tilted at this point. I heard the meta sucks. I was told. That it's ass. Absolute ass. Stop with that bullshit, you guy. One thing I will say though, after this stream and this, we're trying to make get this to level 74 and see if the two items actually do a lot. But then I'm done with Shaman, man. The class is just painfully bad right now. 
It appears. I can do no damage to this guy. Look at it. And this is not even a boss. Uh... I was talking about you, lol. <laughs> Damn, this always tilts the snap community. Don't talk about me. It's just, they, they go crazy. They go mad if you do this. But I want to see the tweet. Um, I don't know if... Links are... Not allowed in chat. I didn't even check if this is a thing. Uh, talk to Jeff Hooglin by saying Gladiators is a good card. Then he blocked me. I mean, if being blocked by Jeff is not really a, a, an achievement because everyone is. He blocks everyone and the mother. So. I might actually not be blocked because I never interacted with him ever. In chat, anyway. Like, see, the, the problem really is with this build. It takes me forever to even get to a single fucking echo. I'm super slow. I don't do any fucking damage. It takes me forever to get mobs killed. I die very fast. The glass is just not it, I feel like. Like, this shouldn't take this long to kill this fucking thing. It's not even a boss or anything. Oh, it's Harton, our friend. No mercy, he says. I do way more damage to bosses for some reason. Doesn't make sense to me. You see, it takes me more effort to kill this thing than the boss. That's a lot of armor, I'll take that. I oh, know I don't play this Diablo, never interested. <laughs> it's not Diablo, it's similar. If you talk to Jeff Hoogland, he's woke. He accused you of being Satan. Absolutely, I know who he is. I know. He probably thinks I'm the Antichrist. No, wait, the woke people don't believe in Christ, so don't mind. He's just a loser. An insecure person. Insecure man. A man child, really. If anything. We well, actually like all of these. So, yeah, no, nothing crazy about that. Uh, yeah, my amulets? Sure, why not? <laughs> he might be a cuck, for all I know. This is apparently a thing in the Volgara. People like this. You know, it's progressive. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I just need to cast my avalanche more often. Because this actually does some damage. See, I almost died there again. Why does it not cast when I click on it? How many times do I have to click on Q? What the hell? So yeah, um, he's progressed. Yeah, yeah, I know. He even said it in his Twitter bio, doesn't he? Progressive politics. You could also call it loser politics, because they always lose, don't they? What the hell? Anyway, um, what's your? He watches that here. Yeah. Um, what's what's your Twitter handle? I might even be following you. I don't even know, because I want to check out that tweet and the replies to it. But it's funny because another um, another old viewer from Snap Times came into my chat recently and was talking how Snap is shit right now. And how everyone is pissed and all that. 
I feel like I left at the right time. Okay, I'm done with the shaman. Guys, fuck it. I'm done with it. It sucks. I don't care. Get out of here. It's not fun. The build is not doing shit. So fuck it. Very simple. This guy. Very simple. Instead... Do we actually want to start a new one? Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We create a new character. And we go with... I think I want to do the Warlock or the Mage. I think of the Mage, actually. I kind of want to play a Warlock at some time as well. Rune Master. Or Sorcerer, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, no, this doesn't even happen to you, man. If... There it is. I use Twitter. But then how did you... With a singular tweet till the whole Snap community. I thought you well. I thought this is how it happened. I'm confused, my friend. Do we do the Rune Master? We have some items for this guy. Actually, fuck it. I want to play the Warlock. Yep. Annex Lock. Normal stuff. All the normal stuff. In the beginning. Shut up. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I if these keepers will accept my aid. I don't think so. Why is it still lagging, by the way? Yeah, lady, they probably don't like you. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to us. Travel as Keithy wishes to destroy us and steal a terrorist legacy. Shut up. I was talking about you telling the community. Oh, you mean back then? I see now. Okay, I see now. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing easier than to tilt leftists. It's the easiest thing. I thought some, some new shit happened recently, and that's why you were mentioning that. Yeah, so tell me what's going on with Snap. Is everyone still a leftist loser? Like everyone? Or is it all oh, some base people? Bro, oh, come on. It doesn't even show that I'm lagging. 50 MS and we're lagging around. Some bullshit. I want to swap skills. I'm not interested in that. Yeah, yeah, relax. If I was going to do that, I know I would probably get deleted off Twitter and my snap account would be deleted. True. And I can do it off just a couple words, easily cancelled. Yeah, yeah. One thing though is I I didn't actually get cancelled. I mean um the the clan it thing I was in kicked me out because they apparently are also in the same leftist losers. And um, people were talking shit, especially the big streamers. 
But it wasn't like I was... I couldn't stream anymore. I just wasn't interested in Snap anymore at that time. And especially because I realized the entire community is like that. Or like, not the players, the uh, streamers, rather. Like, I was talking to... Dara at the time. And he was talking some bullshit to me in DMs that made no sense whatsoever. It wasn't, like, rude or anything. It was very composed. But I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? It's... Bullshit. Again, Raven called me out for my equality statement, which is apparently atrocious to even say that, even though it's true. But the truth sometimes is atrocious, I get that. Sometimes it is. When you arrived. Oh, a bunch of girly men, yeah. That's funny because I realized this when... What's her name? The Asian lady. Oh, I forgot her name. Good-looking lady, very composed and based. Forgot her name, but you know who I mean. Because she actually has a video on... Jeff online, right? Number one hypocrite or whatever she's called it. She's the only one in the snap community that actually has balls. That's what I realized. That's That was my realization. Or the snap streamers, rather. Because she actually calls out people on their bullshit. Whereas everyone else is just ducking. Because they don't want to ruin their collaborations. So yeah. But it's just a showcase of um, society as a whole. We need stronger men. A lot actually. Intelligence is what gives us the best thing, I think. Intelligence is always what we need with the lady. More damage. I believe Dara is a closet racist. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Most leftists are, by the way. It's very racist against white people. But some of them are very, also very openly racist about everyone else. Because it's only inclusive if you agree with what they say. That's the uh, understanding of inclusivity. Oh, Vendoring Spirits. They will be better later, I feel like. Yeah. Nina, exactly, Nina. Thank you very much. That's her name. Where'd you learn to fight? Exactly. She seems to be the only normal person from what I've seen. Alright, let's kill this bitch. Ow. Oh, he froze him. Need. Rip blood. There you go. Well done. I don't need any of these. I'll see you ahead. We're almost there. <laughs> Yeah, so, as bad as it is, I like Snap a lot, but I also don't miss leaving it behind. Really only because of the streamers. Like, I, I couldn't even think of anyone I would like to collaborate with, maybe Nina. Sounds like they're a group. It's now because they're all turncoats. As soon, like, as soon as I showed my real thoughts, political thoughts, and it didn't align with them, Everyone was gone. And I think as an adult, you can still have different opinions. And still work together. But I know it's not really a thing for leftists. I'm very much aware of that. So, where are twin items? Um, we need this. That's fire damage. That's pretty shitty.
Mm -hmm. I mean, it says way more damage, so. Doesn't help our. We need more twin items, man. I gotta build these. Maybe I should actually do that. I'm gonna do this tomorrow, I guess. Get some Twinkies going. These are all level 60 and 50. And like 15 is really the sweet spot. This gives a spell mana cost increase, movement speed, fire damage is not helping, but. Health on kill, chance to chill on hit, melee damage. I think that's better. This has nothing as well. Do, 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 do. We can't even run uniques. Yeah. Does the shop have anything good? Let's see what you got, lady. Um, Wandering Spirits. Come on, that's the best thing you got for me? Mana, that's good. Actually, just, just run it. Fire damage, useless. Increase spell damage, absolutely. I don't want to forge it. Intelligence. There we go. I have enough shards, so that's fine. Almost out of forging potential here. Mana. Yeah, some health would maybe also not be bad. Health. Plus X health. I kind of want to have the, the other one. Hybrid health. I only have one of these, damn. I thought there was, you know, on the right. I thought there I was, you know, on the right. I didn't know he was a cuck too. Yeah. I mean, it appears he is. I guess we have to go with this then. Talent, you get it up. This scales with physical. Is this a physical spell, really? Oh, yeah, physical damage. True. Spell intelligence. Didn't I find a better one by this lady? Let's see what you got. Oh, yeah, this one. Fire damage. Oh, that sucks. You can also rock a shield. Initially, that's totally fine. Oh, he's staff lady. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know. I'm just speculating from what I've seen where they reside, but definitely not on the base sphere. I don't even think they are bad people. Spell damage. What's free spell damage? And yeah, this also has. I just think they were misguided like most, most people. Um, do I want more health or do I want to add to this? Resistances. Mana, necrotic resistance. How about some spell damage? There is no spell damage. Shit. Yeah, they believe the lies of society and all that. Um, feels bad for them, actually. I actually feel bad for them, to be honest. I don't hate them. just feel bad for them. That must suck. Live that shitty life. Right. Where everyone you dis disagrees with you is an asshole. But oh well. Yeah. Shut up. We'll lend our aid to heal army. So we want to go with. Yeah, this sucks. Um, this one also sucked. Keep it open for now. Frost Shaman is ass. I want to go for a Warlock. Acolyte, Warlock. Only two, huh? Bleed Warlock or Torment Warlock? Profane Veil. I kind of like this. Hundred and seventy-four thousand damage. For how? 
What? 400,000? Okay, hold up. Interesting items. Why would I go for the shield? Torment. Experience inflict torment on enemies, a powerful curse. Oh, it's the curse thing, right? And if we go to Bleed Warlock? Sanction is, huh? I do, they're delusional. Of course they are. I didn't say they're not. But, yeah. Chaos Bolts, Harvest. Oh, yeah, Harvest. Do we go with Harvest? Or do we go with this? Rendering Spirits, really? I might not go the exact build. Screen clutter. Why is that bad? I guess it's bad for streaming. Needs uniques to shine. Defense tools require timing. This one? Very advanced mana management. Very advanced. This is not a problem for me. Amazing AoE. Visual, visually stunning. I think we do the Bleed Warlock. Mm -hmm. Warlock leveling guy. Do I really need to do this though? So this is basically a bleed warlock. Anyway, um, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I know how this works. Thank you very much. Get the spirits out. I don't even want to attack them. I just cast shit. Melee critical strike. That's pretty bad. What's with the fucking lag? There are shots with a lot of damage, so we're gonna keep casting this one. Dude, today is one of these days again, really. Huh. Let's eat them a little bit. The healing from Rip Blood is pretty nice, I must say that. Lag, not so much. Oh, we have Harvest now. Double damage to those that are cursed. I don't have curse yet. It's kind of the problem. I wish you'd come back to Snap community on Twitch just to give them the middle finger, even though you don't and Snap into my... <laughs> I was thinking actually at some point. Um, especially once this channel has grown bigger. That I might just run a bunch of Snap streams just to piss off people. Actually, be I would actually find this to be quite funny. Not anytime soon. Stun chance, chance to chill on him. But yeah, it's definitely uh, an idea for sure. Yeah, but what about the game itself? Because I freed, uh, I still follow a bunch of dudes on Twitter. Um, and I read some some hateful posts that is a bit sucky. Like the meta. And things are crazy. Is that true? Does it suck or is it actually fine? Take me! Take me. Bro, 
Bruh. This lag is pissing me off, dude. I kind of want to skill Harvest for first. Why does it lag all the time? I need to restart the game later. It could help. It helped last night. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, because I committed myself to this game for over a year now. But uh, maybe I'll sometimes just just to shit on people. Really? Critical strike and armor. This is half a mana. That's just better. Zero forging on that as well. What is this guy doing? I know, thank you. Um, yeah, we want to have Bone Curse because we need this later, I feel like. Do they not? Uh... Yeah, are they not going for transplant? That's interesting. Harvest, not transplant. Just to piss in the heroes on Twitch, yeah. Fuck the game itself, I still play, but fuck it. <laughs> I see, I can tell by your vibe, there's generally a lot of shit going on you don't like. I can see. I wanna have a melee... Is there a melee... Warlock... That is not Lich? Not really, right? You have to play the Lich, because I kinda wanna have Harvest. I like the attack effect. The scythe thingy. It's pretty cool, I like it a lot. Double damage to those that are cursed. Probably isn't. Your death has come. Your death has come. Also, it's AoE damage. Like, leaf damage. Which is pretty nice. Pretty neat. And I gotta dodge these. Do the shards do more damage? Not really. But you can steal some health from him. With Ripline. Ripline actually does a lot of damage. There you go. Chance to chill on hit. Nope. Full damage. No, mine's just better still. Health region. Bone aura. Intelligence and resistance is always fine, I think. I don't even want to skill into a, one of the skills. Too deeply. Wait, wrong direction. Yeah, shut up. Shut up! We could also go for rib blood. Yeah, because rib blood is always good to actually skill, isn't it? Because the, the late game thingy has... Oh, it does have Harvest. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we go with Harvest for sure. 
Penalty. Might not be the best thing to do this early, but it's fine. That's pretty good. Uh, let's harm his people. Yeah, the bleed, the bleed thingy. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> By the way, there was this. I saw this tweet of a bundle that is two thousand dollars. I think it's an April Fool's joke, right? But also, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually is a thing in the game. It probably isn't. But uh, yeah. would be funny. Very funny. Damn, the shredding, dude. What? Really kicking ass here. Really kicking some ass. Especially early game, that's quite... Because I only have one twink item in use, right? So... I would have expected... Ow. To die faster. Oh, this guy. Bitch. You only dropped this shit? Come on. Give me some good items. What's up with that? What is up with that? Shut up. It range heal with through blood. Pretty good. That range lag, not so nice. Not so nice. We got hungering souls now. This was not bad, it's better than this, I believe. Way better. For sure. <laughs> oh, not a passive one. Dog rituals. Do I actually need... Can I not just level straight for these? For the end game build? It's not a thing, huh? Damage, minion damage. Yeah. A bit knowledge max is... I don't really think you ever really need the leveling guides. Except for maybe Rune Master. Yeah, Blood Aura helps. This is fine. So I was doing it right. I know some things myself about this game. I like the sky for a lot. I'm gonna go for this. Mostly. Yeah, shut up. Okay, no mind. I gotta get out of here. Okay, these bitches are pissing me off. Eat this. Eat shit. Strength. Mm. Eh. Let's check. What do we actually do? We go for spirit shots. Consumes him to do more damage. Ooh, yeah, it's this thing. That's pretty nice. Chance to cause enemies to bleed. We actually actually go for this first. Convert it to physical. Yeah, we want to have physical damage because of the bleed chance. Yeah, yeah. I like necrotic a lot. A larger area. Also pretty good. Yeah, it's all pretty nice. All pretty neat. Because of bleed, we go with this.
Open this huge door. This way. This way. You're here to help. Protect the shot. The drink. Protect the shot. Oops, I missed, huh? I bleed is a lot of damage. But the hungering souls as well. They're pretty neat. We are shredding. The echo is definitely very strong in this game. I'm just I guess I'm just used to to playing an absolute shitty shaman that does no damage whatsoever. Get out of here, you cunt. It is unsafe. We'll reconvene outside. 29% increased spell damage. It could be better than this, because this only does inflict fire, and we don't care about fire. Spreading flames, more fire damage. I mean, yeah. This could be more damage. So let's see. Must need some rings. Elf? Uh, level 9, okay. That should hold the Shut up. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. Sure. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Traveler. <laughs> Charge. I mean, I feel like I'm already doing more damage. Like, not more damage, but relatively speaking. Than I did it with the Shaman earlier. Like, it's way easier to get through this. Of course, it's the early game, but still. I have no items. Or not many. Nothing really crazy. Shaman is so bad right now. It's so bad. Except for one build, which is the explosive form totem build. But the class should have, or like a mastery, should have more than one build. That is viable. Hello friends, how's it going? Stop stealing all my health. There you go. Chance to bleed on hit. That is pretty good for us, actually. Other than that, it's a pretty bad one. Melee damage, fire damage, health on kill. Mana dodge rating. So... <sighs> shut up. Fortress a little bit, of course. Chill on hit is pretty bad, so let's see if we get something better. Oh, frailty! It's fucking dark. Oh, that's pretty good. Fire damage is also useless. Health on kill. Let's run this dagger then. Absolutely. Uh, ignite on hits. Irrelevant. Tends to bleed. That could actually be good. This has way more spell damage, though. Oh, yeah. So it does way more damage. And wait, no. I thought we'd do 75. 
I mean, you could also, whoops, forge this. Nope, I can't. Chance to bleed is pretty neat. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I dropped this. No way. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Ah, pretty nice. Except, especially the health on kill. Pretty good. I like a, a melee necromancer. I'm uh, not necromancer. A melee acolyte. Pretty neat. Look at this. That's some neat shit. Oh, I don't even need rip a lot here. I'm just hitting him with this dagger. <laughs> Chance. Can't yeah, speed. Nah. Nah. This dude always comes too late with his fucking beam. It's always too late. Always too late. Oh, yeah. I also can still cast my minions. Yeah. I keep forgetting about that. More of them. Okay. Oh, I can have three. I didn't know. Hmm. Oh. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch safe. Sure. I know it won't work, but you do you, man. Good. No. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh wait, there's a stash over here, isn't it? I think. Probably pretty shitty, but let's see. Oh, ring, that's always good. Ignite on hit. It's pretty bad, except for the ring. What does it do? Minion damage, physical damage. The physical damage is pretty nice. We can increase that. Good. We're getting somewhere. Why can't I click it? There we go. So let's get some food and we proceed. And we proceed from there.
right. Got anything good, lady? Blessing. Oh, I think this is a bad quest. No. Prayers be with you. Necrotic damage. I think that's good for us, isn't it? I believe. Fought a little, eh? This physical damage. Best speed. fancy except for the fucking dagger. Yeah. Everything okay? What that man? What that we say? Are you, you stay safe? Stay alive and bring Balthus back. This area, I remember.
うん Damn it. Cruise, I guess. I get these all later. It doesn't even matter what I skill here. Because I'm not gonna go for this later anyway. <clears throat> but the rather. This is a bad one. Good. Okay, we're gonna do this later. These assholes, they're so annoying. Fucking AoE attacks all the time. Kick these guys quickly. Damn, do some damage. Insane. That's a lot of spell damage. Way less. What the fuck? Never mind then. How about intelligence?
Great bomb golem. Neat. Spell damage, mana, intelligence, lightning resistance. That's way better. I mean, this one doesn't matter because we're not gonna go for this. Late game, we just early game for some extra damage. Actually, maybe it's better to go for the. Pretty shitty. Right, guys. Back in a second. <clears throat> Gotta clean this all up. And then we proceed.
All right, we're back. Sorry. I think we took care of everything we needed to. Now we can proceed. With eating. <laughs> Just a second. Good, I don't care about the bullshit. Shut up. Physical damage, yeah, but not gonna hit them with the scepter. It ends here. Since I played quite early, I think so. Yeah, Frank. She got stunned here. What the hell? What's with all the stuns? Might have fucked up. Nope, we're good. Ran a little bit too strong. But it worked out. Health on melee hit. Save the lions here a lot. Yeah, my minions. Shredding him. <laughs> Let's not send the fire. Good. Here's some health. Go. Ho 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 ho. That minion is just face tanking him, no problem. suck and we'll say that they all suck now get me out of here. Oh. Oh, 
Start the Biffle Network. Speaking of, let's head back. I must read the next one. Yeah, we'll, you'll do some bullshit again, won't you? I know you will. Terra's blessing. <clears throat> A terror's blessing. Move, bitch. He's back. He's been quiet since he returned. You're back. Irina. I'm so sorry. sorry to you too. This is what's best for us all. Is it? With the epoch's power. Finally. Is it though? Is it the best for us all? Because I'm not sure. Not so sure. What just happened? just happened this place is fascinating different but somehow the same yeah i'm i would know that you would like that place lady of course not surprised ow stop it get some help Yeah, I know how this works. Why does it keep giving me this shit? Oh, it's not a bloody sky, huh? It was the crimson thing. It's all red now. I kind of like the green better, I will say that. Also, then we do need to focus on physical damage. Yeah, physical dexterity intelligence. That's necrotic damage. Void damage. That's a huge sword. What she said. What is all this? Mm. Melee physical damage, increased physical damage, that's pretty good. Yeah, you need to make it even better. What did I put on this one? Oh, it has health on melee hit. Do we have this? Health on melee hit. Nice. Some gay as dagger again, but whatever. Yep, it's more damage. Also. I know how these work, thank you. Wait. Did I fuck up? Oh yeah, of course. There's our template. Duplicated, edited. Um warlock. Then we go with what we wanna have. I mean, I'm not going to find exalts at this point. I'm looking at this later. For now, it just does enough in the beginning. It shows up anything. Anyway. Is 
This is maybe too early to go for the... Bleed. Like the physical damage, Skyf. Hmm. Don't know. Elder Burn, yeah, this guy, of course. Gods. Shut it. Only this. Um, actually, let's check if we go here. Handle this. Last refuge on skirts. This guy got eaten again. Uh, we gotta go down there, right? I think. I think. Level 15 is where we can run some OP boots and rings and shit. We'll get to soon, I believe. Somewhat soon ish. Yeah, get over here, friends. Come with us. We also have transplant. Why not using this, by the way? Big mistake. We've got to already have the skill. Gods be with you. Does not stack. Feels bad. It doesn't really matter. We go on costless mana first. Why the cone? Let's go with more. More is more, and more is always good. More does more. Wait, oh, there's a guy. Okay, I didn't even... I didn't even...
Well, feels bad for them, doesn't it? Feels pretty bad. I'm still wondering if I should stick with the necrotic damage for now on my... I mean, bleed. I gave him five stacks of bleed, so that's definitely helping. Especially against bosses. How many of you are coming here? Shut up. Damn, it's all pretty good. Let's do it like this. Is it worth it? I have enough shadowing wounds, doesn't matter. That's more mana though. Is this actually what we want to go with? Aid into this. Blood pack, I think, is something you do later, isn't it? This loses me a lot of health per second. Basically, a walled thingy. Yeah. I was not against bleed chance per point of intelligence instead of added melee damage. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of like the necrotic thing, but still the best. I should actually maybe go for more bleed. Eight percent kill threshold. Not bad. Not all bad. Can you please click it, lady? Thank you. Very kind of you. Very kind. What brings you here? A yep. A terrorist grace view of you. Likewise. Now get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, man. White touched gruel. I'll be honest, I don't like the white areas in the beginning too much. <clears throat> something I want to get over with, otherwise it's more or less not very fancy. I did enjoy the whole Solarium thing, even though I always skip it. <laughs> uh, it's just better to skip it than to play it, but I liked it style-wise. And Buzz, this guy, where is he? A big man. Only a little longer. Only a little longer, he says. I doubt this is true. There he is. Whatever the fuck it is. Stop with that shit, man. Stop it. I have three archers. Okay, yeah, I only have one died. And that was the 8% kill threshold. Pretty neat. Uh, movement speed is all bad. 
It's all bad. <clears throat> it's all bad. All very bad. Ding ding. Mm. Thank you. Whoops. I see. Yeah. It we every plead the gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. They suck, dude. Why don't give me the shit? Traveler. Yeah, yeah. Do we want to do this? What? Go on then. Go on then. I give him passive points. So that's fine. I know how idols work. Thank you. What do we want? What is actually what scales our damage best? Wall for retention intelligence, I guess. Damage over time. Oh yeah, damage over time, of course. Or resistance. There is no bleed thingy. Interesting. What is this gear? Is really only going for ward? Elf. Plea duration. Spread plague. Damage over time, yeah. Why is code resistance so high? Omnis. Oh, that's all the resistance. Goes for all the ward stuff. It's all ward, damn. Okay. So much code resistance. Yeah. We gotta find this one as well. We gotta find a bunch of items, but... Um... Damage over time, physical damage. That's what we want, huh? Intelligence, of course. Damage or time. Chance to bleed on hit. Chance to bleed. Chance to bleed. 20%. Pretty good. I call it idols I can't really use here, can I? Oh, too big. Oh! 40% dot. Health, poison chance. Is this. Wait, this is not all acolyte idols. Is this really all I have for the Acolyte? Damn! I thought I had way more than that. Intelligence doesn't really exist as it is, right? Um, what was it? Damage over time. Yeah. 10% white resistance. Armor health. We don't read really armor health. We're really gonna go for damage here, mostly. No, anyway. Put this in here again. I can't run these. I can run this one. Shitty. It's all 15, huh? All of them. Okay. Sure. Sure, buddy. <clears throat> The last archive. Uh, 
I know. Mm -hmm. Erza's library. Just as one passive point, but good enough. Are yeah, going full into the dot bleed? Straight from the beginning, they should do quite well. Holy damage! I mean, I stood right at this attack, but... But damn! But damn! But damn, Spirit Plague, because the target of powerful necrotic damage over time effect, which lasts 3 seconds. Threats to a single neighbor target on target death. Oh, they changed the, the icon, right? Because I remember this. Isn't this also part of my build? It is, yeah. Laceration, chance to bleed. This one, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of these. I know you shouldn't despecialize that early. But I want to see if you can actually do this build without straight or without a leveling build. Ah! 13 times. Why is it 13? Well, pretty good though. Um, we might ignore rib blood. I go for this. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. This gives me more damage over time, right? Yeah. Great club of sleet. And the global buff I get from this is pretty neat. Why do I even go here? What's this shit? Pretty neat. What do you say, obey? I don't obey to anyone. still alive i thought he died already mini damage fine potions man these suck no physical damage huh whatsoever interesting no physical damage it's a big man Not anymore. 
Strength produces for resistance. It's a sess. I never cast root blood ever. Because I kind of never have to steal health. In the his ass. That's good damage. Can I actually make it higher now? More damage. Level bad. There we go. Kick this out. I still have this shitty body armor, I didn't even realize. Lol. Melee physical damage. Come on, level 17. What is this shit? Come on, dude. Let's move this over here. We don't need this. On this side, there we go. Let's see how well we can kick these guys. Okay, we gotta ditch that disintegrate thing. Shut up. It takes a bit, I will say that. Takes a good bit. I'm just tanking, there's no problem. The range is also pretty good in this. Yardering of tenacity, critical strike. Yeah, if it has physical damage as well, maybe. And it's a prefix, isn't it? Feels bad. Feels bad. Feels very bad. Oh yeah, also, we forgot about all this, huh? How about some stuff on here? How about this? And I think this. And we might need some cooler things for that. Definitely the cool portal, ancient way. Bees, more bees or most bees? I see. Uh, I think we go with this guy. This lad. Or just this helmet with very few more, with all everything else, it looks a bit weird. That does look a bit weird. That does look weird. <coughs> Get to you in a second. Let's talk to this guy. Goodbye. I don't even want these. Don't even want them. Still, I please stop him. Please stop him. I have three points into this. But this drains my health. Oh, only when I attack, right? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, great synergy. Baldies. What do you want? God be with you. One more level and we can actually do some, some good stuff. The precipice. Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, 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 I remember. I mean, good stuff. You can just run a bunch of boots that are not shit. That's the main difference. 
and the good stuff we can do then. Ha <laughs> ha get fucked. I need a proper weapon as well. Physical damage. This is a fucking dagger. Melee physical damage. And yeah, this is still better because it has the melee physical damage, you know? Melee physical damage. There's also a uh, prefix, huh? Hmm. Poison damage. What can we add? Chance to bleed on it. That's not bad. Ooh, physical damage, 30%. Let's run this up some more. Bleed chance. It should do more damage if I use this. 187. Yeah, there we are. Oh, it doesn't have health on melee head. Hmm. That could become a problem. They do way more damage. There is no health on melee. And the correct damage is useless. I just realized. Really, there's no health on melee here? What? I don't have shots for that? That's bullshit. Oh, okay, you can't do it. It's an offhand kill list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you can't do that. You can reroll that because necrotic damage is kind of useless. So is this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, this thing sucks now. Well, we'll find a better one. At least we have cast speed. Just some shots, huh? I want to run an actual scythe. Is there a frost necromancer as well in this game, by the way? I'm not necromancer. I keep saying necromancer for some reason. A frost melee damage acolyte class. Because the eulogy of blood is a cool item I can't ever use. Because it does cold damage and necrotic damage. We could also summon the golem instead of our dudes, by the way. Probably better. Because he aggroes the enemies. Yeah, calm your tits, man. Damage all time. Have one kill. Play. Why did this do so much damage? What the f I'm really missing the health on melee here. Mm. Feels bad. That would have helped a lot. I yeah, fucked up. What a big deal. Up with that bullshit. 
Oops. Doesn't even do much damage. I can't click on him. I'm literally standing on, like, beyond the edge. Breach of the Grave. Oh, this is also a bad one. As is this. Pretty bad one. I have a much better Reach of the Grave than this. Oh, this is nice. We don't have more bleed, I believe. This, we could also max this one out. Oh, it's the old Bolem, Bolem, Bolem Mantle bug. That he keeps running around here. What is this, by the way? I reduce enemy necrotic resistance. And necrotic doesn't really do anything. Oh, this is necrotic damage. So necrotic damage is not even bad. Interesting. Ultra area. This is actually good. The Great Scythe. Let's go for this. And then we proceed with the bleed stacks. Oh, he died almost instantly from my necrotic damage. Well. Some of these still don't have health bars over them. This is still a bug in this game. Weird. Full damage, health, half region. I think the one I have is just better. Intelligence, uh, minion health sucks, but health. No. That's a pass. I cannot click on him. Oh, there we go. He doesn't have my spirit blade on him. Why not? Oh, this is blocked? Couldn't see it. Oh no, it does. Six, eight stacks of bleed. Pretty good. Yeah, we need something. If we keep fighting melee, we need some helpful melee hit for sure. Otherwise, it's a bit of a problem. Especially early game. Later, of course, we don't need it. Because we gain ward. But early game... It is a problem. A stunning shrine. What? My spirit legs alone actually kill all these, funnily enough. You need to do anything there. Ha! Ha ha! Pretty good strength. This might be the first class where I actually run a two handed weapon. Bitch. I ran right into that. Admittedly. I can't get out of it. Holy! Okay, that was close. Why can I not? This is still blocked. I can actually not go there. Very annoying. I couldn't move to the health potions. Still, we did it. It's all good. Call the scepter. 
Melee physical damage. Uh, nope. Elemental damage, damage over time. Melee physical damage. Nope. 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 It's all a hard nope. <laughs> Did I also get a passive point? I didn't. Never mind. I know how the crafting works. Thank you. You want to craft something here, don't you? What can we throw on this? Armor, cold resistance. Or per second. I mean, why not? While we're here. Not gonna get much wall from that. But it's something. Things are pretty, pretty good. Spirit Blade kills these small dudes just on its own. Some attack speed will also be nice. He started with bleed right away. Armor of the box. White fused armor. Free. There's a lot of damage. The spirit plague already. Focuses on attacking players. And rages at half health. What does this do? Necrotic damage. Nah. Eh. Nah. Not really necessary. <laughs> Where did you get the fire from? Not for me, I don't think. We gotta go down there. Top of stillness. Death came fast. Really physical damage. Health on kill. Fucking daggers with the health on kill all the time. I might want to shatter this. Oh yeah, it's the end boss, I forgot. Hello? What are you doing, sir? Yeah, but why did you do that? You know? Why did you do that? Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oblivion. Oh, 
Where to go? What? Oh, there he is. Ow. Kill me, yeah, I'm on it. But why would you want to die? What did you do, sir? Ouch, I did some damage. Eight percent, or like the percentage kill threshold. Seems he failed to handle the void's power. So much for their mighty elder. Pathetic. <laughs> I forgot how she talks shit all the time. Pathetic. That's a familiar place. You seem a little dis This is what is he might be kind enough to show you how to tap your into your true potential. Yeah, yeah. Level 15 already. Is this fast? I thought it was 20. Yeah, maybe not. What? Nice lag. Also, our new garb looks kind of fancy. Curse on the target, fire and chronic resistance, Cathanic fissure, yes, the warlock. What do you mean by that? You are still you. I think I got here a bit too fast. I mean, don't need the infernal shade even. Let's put this in here anyway. And we go to the warlock. <laughs> Damage over time. Oh yes, health also very good. Mana region chance per curse to get mana on hit. Nah, I think we need this first. Some more damage. Ah, uh, the 20. Do you want to do this earlier? A Cathonic Fish does fire damage? It's poison. I didn't know it does that. Thought it's necrotic damage. So physical, there we go. Blood Gulch. Yeah, bleed chance, that's it. Okay, we need that. Cathonic Passage. Max one active vision. Yeah, I guess we're gonna. No, I think we keep the curse up for now. This is more damage now at this point. Then we proceed. Cathanic Fissure. Only I could move, you know. Greetings. Greetings. Do not dwell on regrets. You're welcome, sir. So we can run some good boots finally. Strength armor dodge rating, human dodge rating, intelligence, strength, cold resistance, that's good for example. Movement speed, dexterity, dodge rating, armor. Health region, health, dexterity, there's a lot of dexterity. Spell damage, poison resistance, stun avoidance. Thunder one is pretty good, but it doesn't have any physical damage. We can maybe run this one. Um, intelligence, armor, mana, strength, flooding, resistance. Oh yeah, that's even better. 
just crafted this with shit, so let's destroy it. Put on our insane gear. I can run this. But it's minion shit. Can't run any out of this one. Oh the ladle. Melee attack speed, yeah, that doesn't do much. You got two handles we can run? Nope. Shurikens? What the fuck? Also, this is in Twink. Obviously, because it's... Because it's early level playability thing. I can keep this one here. Also, these, of course. Reach of the Grave. Oh shit, I just sorted this one. <laughs> fuck. Uh, strength, with human dodge rating. Speed dexterity, strength, intelligence. I like this. Mana, what can a potion use? Health region, fire resistance. Many damage leeches health. Oh, yes, melee attack speed. Fuck yes. It's also not bad, but good enough. You know, the gloves. I mean, they're technically also twink because they start early, but this is fine, I feel. Atrophy. Oh, it's time rod thing. Need this one later. Goes on to our attributes. Cold damage. Clamity really the only I could run here. Jewelry. My attributes. Place on spell hit. And yeah, that's cool if we have a goal for this. If we don't. It's on to physical skills. Ah. Oh. Chance to bleed on hit. Oh, yes. Any insane rings? I can't really run them yet. Because try. That is fine. Um, yeah, this one. I still have to mm, twink this up. It'd be insane. Keep forgetting about it. Run this relic. Elemental damage. We don't do elemental damage. Of current health rain per second for four seconds when you use a potion. Less void and chronic damage taken. Chronic damage to melee attacks and spells. On potion use. That's pretty shitty. Whoa. No, I think we're, we're decked out mostly. This one is still better than. Damn, 400 damage. Oh, it's less. What the fuck? Do more spell damage, though. The Cophonic Fissures should help us here. I mean, it's way less physical damage. I get that. But survivability is still better. Physical damage? Oh, shit. Come on. I don't buff anything up. Intelligence. Watch your rating chance to ignite on hit? Oh, that's why they sometimes get the, the thingy.
Kirk was trying to chance. What? What happened? I hate that it always blocks us exactly over the thing I'm looking at. That makes no sense. Like, why? Physical damage. Nice. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Oh, it just lagged. Never mind then. Nothing new. Okay, we're back to we're back with more damage. Oh yeah, I need something as an offhand catalyst. Yeah, it's all too high level wise, I figured. At least at least gives me four int. Which does nothing else. It's a cast speed. Doesn't do anything. Can't run anything else. Oh, I have these in build. I'm an idiot. I still need to do this. I should actually do that. Soon, TM. Yeah. Oh, I can run this. Melee physical damage. Strength, health gain, and companion hit. It's not what we're seeking, though. And the last house of the living as well. This has free LP. Oh boy, we gotta create a a good starter one with this. I guess we gotta do some. We do this tomorrow, huh? How about that? We we start the stream running some temporal sanctum dungeons, and then we proceed with the warlock. Could run this. But I think this is less damage. Actually, let's try it. 375. Yeah, it's less. It's only 20 melee physical damage, and this has. Yeah, this has 50% physical damage. 50% is hard to beat there. Give me that physical damage. This is a very fancy book. I like it. Everything else looks a bit weird, but whatever. Why enticed by you? Thank you. Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. Passage. May I tear a smile upon you? May I tear a smile upon you? <laughs> Dispel the barrier, please. Thank you. We should do some insane damage now with all these items. Uh, if you like. <laughs> May I tear a smile upon you? I'm not gonna do the lightless armor dungeon, by the way. We proceed with the campaign and then we go with the Soulfire Bastion, I believe. I think that's the best way to do it. Like Act 7, or what it is, and then we go. Proceed Alberts. Yeah, let's do the fissure. That looks pretty cool. It does fire damage and it shoots necrotic damage out of it. That's interesting. And creates wandering spirits. <laughs> Pretty cool ability, and we'll say that.
It doesn't even cost much mana. 45? You can just mostly spend it. Insane! Oh, I keep clicking the wrong button. I meant to do the... The Spirit Plague. We don't need that. May it have a smile upon you. Periodically becomes rampant. Fucking entangled me, what a bitch. Not cool. The cultists had a philosophy. I know. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did it give me this? Chapter 3. Me ter smile upon you. Find the city of Varin. Yeah, the timer of business also in here somewhere. <laughs> Fucking cultists. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's down here somewhere, right? If I go down there. Whatever, we'll just hit some other point. There was no need to cast this, I feel like. Fissure. Because we do so much damage anyway. Also, I wanted to check. Do I not have a fucking scythe? An actual fucking scythe I can use? That is actually good. I can't see it here. Yeah. What I have. The city's over here, right? Cultist camp. Um, yeah, this one. Apply bleed when you hit an enemy affected by spirit plague. Yes. Why did I get two on on these? Large area. Great scythe. I want this. Necrotic resistance is kind of useless because we're not doing any necrotic damage. Oh, what is withering? Increased damage taken from curses. Tis not bad. This turns everything into. I mean, it helps with all other skills, right? Spirit plague is still necrotic damage, as is the fissure. Turns the spirit shot. When you have 13 spirit shots, your next use of house can use them. Oh, yeah. What damage. This buff does not stack. You enemy with harvest, both you enemy, I think, with bleed. I think I go with this leader. Let's 
Let's make a bigger scythe. Yeah, also this. Eh. I didn't actually mean to do that. Click the wrong button. Nothing new. Misplay never punished, as you know. Do not take me. What does this mean? What does this mean, lady? Using words, but it means nothing. The warlock does shred, man. <laughs> Wait, do I not have... No, I don't have a... Plus one to Spirit Plague. Oh, hell yes. What else you want to throw on it? Vitality, maybe? I don't even need more health. I'm good. Intelligence, we could do that. Shout increase bleed duration. What is this shot? It's an uncommon one. Shout bleed chance on head. A shard is not really useful for me. I forgot I had all these. We gotta get a exalted helmet later on where we can put on. Okay, these all suck by the way, I don't need them. I hate that this is always overlapping. Physical spell. Physical damage while transformed. Nah 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 nah. We can just go with Int. Int is damage and damage is good. And we have an extra level on the Spirit Plague. Very neat. Sonic Fish is an interesting spell. It basically just rips up the world and brings out the darkness. Pretty cool, I like it. If only it had LP on it. It's always a good drop to get the fire starter's torch, but it needs LP to really do something. Because I have it two times already, so it doesn't really add. Unless I have the ability to throw in some more shit. Which I don't. Annoyingly. Oh, it takes no damage. What the hell? Fifteen stacks of bleed. That should do some damage. There we go. There we go. Do I even max this out? I do. What is this? Exsanguination. But you're all now also inflicted with bleeding. Oh, nice. Critically strike. Do I have a crit that much? Uh, so this makes sense. Oh, frailty. I want this. It's 
spend the correct damage for each point of intelligence. Plague of Eyes. Not bad. I also go for this. Chaos Bolts. Could be used to these later as well. As well. I can't talk. Use the lid at will. Necessary. Whatever. <laughs> the way they laugh all the time. <laughs> Sentinel helmet. I don't have Sentinel helmets, so let's get this one going. Cultist. Ding ding. Over here. So let me check. First of all. Oh, this is not even an exalted one. Mistakes were made. I thought it's an exalted helmet. If only set items wouldn't suck so much. That would be nice. There is a... Oh, this one, yeah. The Bone Harvester. Nearly necrotic damage. That's not it. Skeleton Harvester for 15 seconds on kill. Hmm. Usurper's Mandate. Got like minion skills. Eh? Is there no... Two-handed bleed weapon. Physical. And yeah, this one. But it's shitty. Otherwise, the seal should be in build because it has legendary potential. It's a lot of melee physical damage. The last laugh. Strength increase melee attack speed. Ooh. It's actually pretty good for me, isn't it? Oh, I can't use it. Never mind. <laughs> 47. Whoops. <laughs> Hammer of Laurent. I will never use this. Because I have this one. And this one also belongs... I can run this, but it's less damage. For sure. I tried this earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Way less damage. Ooh, that's the one we need. 200% physical damage. Damn. That's insane. Yeah, but there is no uniques, huh? I think I also have yeah, this one. If this weren't melee necrotic damage. Intelligence. Half on melee hit. This is actually a twin item because it's level 21. We put that here. Ambitions of an erased acolyte. Is there? Let me check. Database.
physical damage increase physical damage unique why does it say oh taken as physical damage beast king yeah i have this one undisputed taste of blood also have this one oh yeah we could run both oh no i can't do a wield with with the lady i can't of course not last laugh yeah bludgeon melee physical damage physical damage leech is health increased leech rate stun duration this is very good for us the bludgeon flanched mace flanked mace Rain fragrance we gotta farm items man eric's bones evil tusk club increase almost red uh it's not bad Interesting. Um, smoke Weaver, what is that? It's a dagger. Unique poignard. Melee physical damage. Life's journey gives me physical damage. Melee attacks. Chance to inflict spirit plague on melee hit. So we might want to run this shield, huh? But it looks stupid. I kind of want to have a fucking huge scythe. That's what I want. I mean, all this huge thing, I guess. Reign of Dragons has so many swords. Okay, I gotta do this more often, huh? Spawn Shell. Pact Severance. This is necrotic damage, isn't it? Oh, melee physical damage. Okay, so this is also not bad. I have this. Twice, I think. Cleaver Solution. Fractal tree. Hmm. Yeah, I saw them run this. Melee damage, increased physical damage. Increased curse damage, curse spell damage. Oh, that's actually very good, yeah. Do I have this? Synathia's dying breath. Synathia's dying breath. That's it, huh? 130% increased curse damage. Yep. I see. I will run this. An actually good set item, huh? No way. No way. This is a thing. No way. Greetings. Yeah, this shit. Farewell. Likewise. Quite a phylactery. They're in docks. Mm -hmm. Mm Can't run from me. That was a waste to cast the fissure there, but whatever. Whatever. This dude is blowing up. Mm, what is this bug, by the way? That white thingy. Oh, 
Oh, that's a centipede. There it is. Ow. Mm -hmm. Take the symbol of hope. We're in Undercity. Oh yeah, and then... Yeah, okay. Proceeds from there. I remember this. I remember. Mm -hmm. What are you? Who are you? Oh yeah, this as well. All these side quests. Come on, move, lady. Move. Relax, man. Relax. Yeah, it's this place. It's been so long since I played the campaign. Because I've just been leveling my other characters. What gave me so much damage? What the shit happened there? Just died like that. Huh? Can't go through here? Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, that's the horror. Okay, I need to kill that. Here we go. Oh, new skill specially things fucking thing curtains. All right. Um. I'm gonna go down here. Let's max this one out first. Go to three. Yeah, Cathonic Fissure. There we go. I'm gonna go for the physical, the Blood Gulch. Yeah, base fire damage is going to physical. Nice, nice, nice. Blood Gulch. Very nice. Then we gotta check because I actually don't know. You wanna go for? What's this down here? Acid skin. Base critical strength. Interesting. What's that? More damage to rare enemies and bosses. Less mana. Didn't even go up here. What's this? Tends to replace my cast of Chaos Bolts. Nice. Let's go with the mana and then we go up here. Chaos bots we will also run later, right? We don't have them yet. Nope. Chaos bolts. Oh yeah, but you gotta go put five into warlock. We get him now. Chaos bolts. Yeah. Okay, we do this later and then the yellow thing. Alright. Um we can probably remove our bone golem there, huh? Or our bolts. Probably can fire, huh? Yeah, these things. So much to cast, though, then. We do some damage, though. Let's try it for sure.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. Visually pleasing is definitely true for this build. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it looks insanely good. Blood Gulch. Pretty good. That looks really good. Straight from a horror movie. Crits distant enemies? How would he do that? That's bullshit. Which old time? What do we have? This shit, right? Oh, this has nothing. This has dot on it. Much better. Ooh. Very neat. Old damage. Get it out of here. Chopper of Brutality. Chopper. Frail the unhit. Hello. Sir, please. Damn. Oh, it's just like the effects of it. They really took some effort with it. Looks very cool. And this just also makes me realize, since we played the Shaman earlier, that he really needs some love. The Shaman really needs some love from ESG. I mean, Warlock is one of the last classes that the Master Reset came on, so obviously there is all the effects in it. All the cool things and all the insane damage. Shaman is a bit older, and they will do something to him for sure, but right now it just sucks. It's so bad. It's so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. Well, the bolts don't do much damage, huh? Doesn't even say it. Veteran and the city. change the look of this as well it seems a bit darker okay right now the chaos boards don't do shit they need some specialization as well i feel like <clears throat> that will suffice Festering cultists, what the fuck is this even? What is that even? Keep going with this. Actually, let's just move this out of the screen. Screen. We stay at five. Yeah, there it is. We can actually go for this. Intelligence. 
Big chance. It's a physical skill in enemies with against rip blood and lead overload. Oh, this auto cast rip blood. Interesting. Cauldron of blood. I feel like we need this later. Because mana is fine, isn't it? <clears throat> Mostly, anyway. I like the bleed gens. I mean, this is also damage because it's mined. Cauldron of blood. What are you doing, sir? Sir, please, this is a Wendy's. Can you relax a little? Can, you, can we click on it? There we go. We could finally click on it. As its skin crows. We want to go this way, right? Get this. Chaos bolts. Although this makes more sense once the chaos bolt actually do more damage. Severed bolts. More damage to our enemies. Oh yeah, I like this. Let me think we go more with this down here. Spell fire damage. Eh. Eh. Anyone, I can't really rock any other good items, can I? Actually, do some damage. It's all very high level, I think. Not even a good relic to use here. This one, maybe. Yeah, bleed duration chance. Oh, this is a good one for us. 54. It's 23. Yeah, this might be good on us as well. Later. Kind of sucks. Can I increase? Uh, thanks for the sub, man. Tobias. Thank you. Um, hold up. Yes, it's better as Diablo, my friend. Feel better. So. Right, let's kill this guy. Let's finish this. This dude off. Come on. Come on. It's taking forever, for some reason. There we go. Wait, this is... Yeah, the end boss up there, yeah.
observe the ritual. Yeah, I think we're just gonna yes. gonna crash it. I don't even need to cast the Chaos Bolts, I don't think. Keep casting the Fissure. Standing that damage. Wasn't very clever. That was easy. We're doing a lot of damage. Um, wait. Eternity. Increased spirit frequency with Cophonic Fissure. That is definitely a good one to destroy, even. But I think my affixes are wrong here. Yeah, I have none in. We want to go for damage over time, I feel like. Damage over time taken now. Health region and damage over time. No, 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 no. That's not it. Damage over time. Then intelligence. Of course, we have this pretty much. What? Why do we not have? Okay, well. What? I think we wanted to go for just. What per second? Health. I mean, health is not bad. Uh, what retention? Pulse is always great. Um, what per second? What? No. Profane veil. Nope. Nope. There is what gain on kill? What per second? What gain on kill? Could be good. Useful. I hate the on potion use because it doesn't really do much to me. We're gonna have critical strike avoidance. Sanctuary, yep. And I think also. Yeah, resistances, pretty much all of them. Can we go with all resistances? Resistances. That's a good one. We need all of them, pretty much. But anyway, specific idols, exalts. They go with has to bleed on it. Knight, not really. Spread armor, yep. Yeah. Frailty is not bad either. I think Armor Shred might also be it. Health, of course, all of them. Critical Strike Modifier. Do we want to really have Critical Strike? Physical damage. Warriors. Fighting penetration? What the hell? Physical penetration. Piercing. That is not bad. Might help us. And the rest is fine. I think the rest of it is just fine. Shadow Dwelling. Gonna end the stream soon, gentlemen. Let's play a little bit longer. Just see if we get to the if we get to these two quests done. So we gotta add some videos as well. They are both here. End of the time rift. Wait, what? Oh, it's down here. 
Oh, and the lesser refuge. I think it also gives us something, right? Passive points. Yeah, let's go to the time refuge. Let's do that. Ancient forest. they will ever make like a map on area that is in the actual future I know it doesn't really fit the theme with like swords and shit but if you actually go through time you might find areas of humans that are a little bit more advanced I mean it's fantasy you get it but still oh we're lagging nice just in time huh Thousand, huh? That's neat. Very neat. Yeah, thank you for nothing again, I guess. Ruh. Ruh. Okay, we're back. Kinda. Cold damage shot. Is it on it's on the right somewhere? If I remember correctly, this place. Why did that take so much damage then? What the fuck? Get your shit together, please. Wait, did I go? I did go the wrong way. Fuck. Well, feels bad. Is that fast? I think we need to cast this. But oh well. Death will not take me. Death will not take me. Come on. Just this area, and I'm fucking done because it's pissing me off anyway. Stone of evasion. There's the boss. Hope we don't die to bullshit. That'd be nice. That was some shitty damage, friend. We can do better. Dead already, isn't it? Okay. Nice. That was, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> Some bullshit. Anyway. Yeah. Just give me. Just give me the thing. Um. 
Yeah, these more damage to bosses. That's pretty good. Let me go down here. Curse enemy with acid skin. Pretty good. And then I think I can just throw a man's in the council chambers. Oh, in the council chambers. Yeah, okay. Let's do this and then we're gonna end it because it's lagging like asshole anyway. So fuck that, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. As I said, tomorrow we're gonna build some twin items, gonna run some temporal sanctum dungeons a bunch. Probably with the Wrath Lord. Because I also want still want to check if the cold Wrath Lord even does anything at all. Because I had have the item now. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh nice. Increase spirit frequency with chthonic vision. We need shards for this, you know? We have one shot. Does that. I feel like I rather would want to put this on. Yeah. On an exalted item. Do not dwell on, the Do not dwell on regrets. Sure. Oh, physical damage. Increase damage over time. Damage over time. Physical resistance. Chance to bleed on it. Oh, yeah. We're going full into damage. This, this is really all we need right now. 6%, 9%, 11, 13. Right, that's it. Thanks everyone for sticking around, for liking, subscribing, etc. Check out the videos as well. I'm creating a lot of guides for Last Epoch. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All day Necromancer. Until then.